In this lesson, we are going to create a list box. To begin, we'll scroll up to the right hand side and under our task, we're going to add a new field. We're going to scroll down to the list box and click on list box. Now we can move our box into position using our guidelines and once it's in place, left click our mouse to place it. We're going to come over to the side of our list box. As you see, we have our double arrows. I click and hold down the mouse and simply drag my list box into position. I want to right click anywhere on the list box and we're going to left click on properties. Here we can rename our list box and we can add our tooltip as well. We're going to come to the appearance and we can change our font size and we're going to change ours to 10. And then we're going to come to options. Just like the drop down box, we are going to list our items. Here we can type in our list one. Our export value is the value that's going to be sent to another program. And we're going to put list one and click add. We will continue to do this till we have all of our items listed in our item list box. Now that we have completed listing all of our items in our list box, we can now sort our items. If I wanted to move my list item, my Z list item to the top, I simply click on it to highlight it and use my up button to move it up. Or if I click and highlight it, I can move it down as well. If I click sort items, It'll move my Z items to the bottom. If I want my users to have the ability to select more than one item, I can click on multiple selection and hit close. Now to test my list box, I'll come up here to preview. And as a user, you can see that I can click through my options or if I hold my control button down I can click more than one. Unlike the drop down box which will only allow me to select one item, a list box will let me select multiple 